Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Wow. It's a video of my desktop. And I happen to be running the FaceTime beta. Well, not on the phone that I'm waving in the video that you see. That's this. No, that is the FaceTime beta running on Mac OS X, released today. And I'm going to go ahead and give my desktop a call. Uh, I'm dialing. It says, hey, someone's calling. Do you want to accept? I accept. Now I connect. It's me. And I'm kind of echoey. Kind of echoey. And I'm not, and even, not full even full screen. screen. Give me a second. Me a second. I'm going to walk over there. there. And go, and full, go screen. full screen. Now you can't really, you tell, can't really tell it's full screen. screen. me again. again. I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Just like that. So, some of the things I like about FaceTime, it works, you know, for a beta. Uh, it uh, is pretty clean, integrates with your address book. Uh, you could add uh, whatever FaceTime email you want, just like you could associate a, a FaceTime email address with your uh, iPod Touch. Uh, you could also associate a different FaceTime alias for your desktop. And if you didn't know, uh, with a mobile me subscription, you can have well, I don't know how many aliases, different email addresses associated with your account. I have yet to hit a ceiling, and I have at least 10 of them, so this is another one, my desktop. Uh, so, yes, it works quite well with FaceTime, no matter where you happen to be connecting. And, of course, this is on my home network. Uh, it's cable, you know, connected. Uh, this phone connected to the Wi-Fi network. I could connect to any Wi-Fi network and... Uh, connect to this particular FaceTime computer. I could call anybody that has a FaceTime account. I dialed uh, the phone number uh, from uh, this desktop application to this phone and it connected by way of FaceTime uh, using, of course, the Wi-Fi network that I happen to be in. So some of the things that I don't like about the FaceTime beta or the desktop client on Mac OS X. Well, one, it's not available for Linux or Windows, and I think that's kind of depressing, considering Apple had said, oh, it's going to be an open standard. Really? Really? Like, why not now? I understand it's a beta, but why not let the Windows users play along too? Give them a chance uh, to have FaceTime on their desktop. I'm sure it's coming, but I'd hate to see Apple get leapfrogged by, say, Skype, which I'm sure is coming down the pike at some point. Uh, another thing I don't like about the FaceTime desktop client, um, I can't block a user from calling me. Uh, I had to change an alias because someone guessed at one of them, and he kept calling, he kept calling. I'm like, dude, this is really annoying. And uh, so I ended up having to change the alias, and I could not block the user. Another thing I don't like, it doesn't run in the menu bar. It runs in the dock. Uh, you can't effectively hide it and still control it. Uh, it's just always got to be there in the dock, and that is something that annoys me, but you've seen my what's in my dock video and you know how few th items I keep in my dock on a regular basis. Didn't like that. Uh, I don't like the fact uh, that uh, it will run full screen, uh, but you literally have to, right now it's not full screen, it's just maximize the window right now. Um, you have to toggle it full screen, so there's no way to automatically go full screen when you get a call, uh, specifically for a, a certain user. I would like to see some automator uh, actions or possibly some Apple Script integration. Uh, I would like to see it automatically accept a call, potentially, uh, from certain callers. So, for instance, if I, and you can't do that right now, if that wasn't obvious, uh, so if I call it, I literally have to accept the call. And why I'd rather have it automatically accept and go full screen, specifically with certain users, is I want to be somewhere out and about in this world connected to a Wi-Fi network and be able to FaceTime into my desktop computer here so that those of you watching the live video feed will automatically be updated. You don't have to follow a separate live video feed from wherever you happen to be mobile, and I don't do it all that often for that reason. It's kind of annoying. So I'd like to see that happen, or certainly some uh, Apple script to facilitate that. Uh, I think that would be kind of neat to see. Uh, so let's see here. Um, Performance-wise, seems to be okay. Uh, of course, like I said, I, I have it maximized right now. I can, you know, keep it like that. Uh, pretty much the orientation uh, full-time uh, seems to be this vertical uh, capacity, but as I said, 
and when you rotate uh, the FaceTime mobile device, it will ro auto rotate the video too. So that's nice that they uh, had that uh, you know built in right uh, off the start. Uh, you got your favorites, your recents, your contacts. It's fine. It's very basic, but I think uh, they could you know definitely stand some improvements, especially in uh, you know allowing us to uh, adjust these controls specifically on a user by user basis, uh, and you know really you know give us a little more tweakability. And I know some people say, well, Apple doesn't really do that. Okay, well then let's see someone develop an Apple script that'll do it for us. Either way, bottom line, it's free. Uh, I'm sure at some point it'll come baked into Mac OS X, certainly uh, Mac OS X Lion, no doubt it, it will be there. Right now it's available as a beta for Mac OS X. Download it right now, give it a shot. Uh, experiment uh, with uh, FaceTiming all your friends. In fact, I'm going to I'm gonna freak someone out right now. We're gonna we're gonna FaceTime uh, <clears throat> one of my friends who said that he wanted to FaceTime earlier. Um, let me see here. Uh, can I do this? Can I create a new contact? I, I gotta hang on. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've already um, I haven't. I guess I didn't add him to my address book earlier. So uh, when he texted and says, "Hey, do you want to FaceTime later?" I was like, "Who is this?" He's like, "It's me." I'm like, "Oh, oops." Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and FaceTime this guy. Let's see what happens. Okay, g give it a second here. Give it a second. I, I, well, it's not, I don't want to really ruin the surprise yet. Let's see, because I know he's got FaceTime. And I, I know he knows who I am. <laughs> I'm calling his number, dude, and he should be connected to Wi-Fi. Come on, dude. Oh, is he going to deny me? Is he going to deny me? Uh, it, it isn't going to work. Okay, so I was going to call, or trying to call, Soldier Knows Best. Uh, he wanted to FaceTime earlier, and I thought it would have been perfect to FaceTime him right now in the middle of my FaceTime review. <sighs> Fine, whatever, dude. All right, you had your chance. He, he could call back if he wants to. I mean, I, I'm still going to be here, no doubt about that. Uh, but to take you guys out, I'm going to go totally meta. Uh, call my desktop machine here. Accept that call. Go full screen. Oh, apparently it didn't register that click. I'm still waiting for the video. Oh, there we go. Full screen. Echoey. And you can see what I see, 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 what I see. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You're more than welcome to drop me a line. Tell me what you think about Facebook. Of course, you, of course know, you know, you could, uh, you could uh, find, me find me on the web, on the web dot, dot perillo dot com. Geeks dot perillo dot com is our network for all of you geeks. And we got locker room dot com, coupons dot locker room dot com. We also have locker room dot and at Chris Perillo on Twitter, Facebook dot com slash Chris Perillo. Uh, wonderful sunset here in the Seattle area. Beautiful. Love it up here. Sorry, I had to show that again. <clears throat> And of course, you're more than welcome to join us. We uh, are geeking out, out. Uh, likely, likely right now, right now, because it's happening, happening four hours a day, hours a day. Seven, days a seven days a week, through, through this, video, this camera video camera connected, connected to, to this, computer this computer and broadcasting and the, sound the sound effects of mine, of, mine. of course. Of course. 24 hours, 24 hours a day, a day seven, seven days, days, a week, days a week, at, at live.perillo.com. Live. We'll see you later. later.